guys and welcome to another video. Today I've got a different video for you all. I'm going to be doing a top 10 video and this week's theme is top 10 books that I thought I'd like more or less than I did. Katie from my Cakey has done this so I will link her video below and it's also hosted on a blog which is the Broke and Bookish so I will also link that below. So I've got my list here of books that I thought I'd like more than I did and didn't and all books that I didn't think I'd like as much as I did so I'll start off with the ones that I thought would be good and ended up disappointing me so there's less on this list because in general when I buy a book it normally sounds good to me I have high expectations of it and in general they do end up meeting my high expectations but there are very few that disappoint me and I will start with these. So the first book that I thought I'd like but I didn't really like it as much as I thought I would is Fated by Alison Noel. This is a first book in the Soulseeker series and she's also written the Immortal series which I have read some books in that series and really loved them so I had really high expectations for this book but I got really let down. When I started reading it it was really slow and I just wasn't getting drawn into the story. I was completely lost and I'm not joking it's probably like getting towards three quarters away through the book where I finally knew what was going on and could understand everything and was starting to enjoy it. It started to have a bit of a promise, but really it shouldn't take a book that long for me to get into, so I was really disappointed because of that. The next book I don't actually have a physical copy of because I gave it away to a charity, but that is Numbers by Rachel Ward. I really wanted to like this book. The storyline sounded really awesome and when reading it I thought it had a bit of a promise but I started getting a really depressing feeling inside me. I was just like I'm not enjoying it as much as I thought I would and that really really let me down. The next book was so overhyped and that is Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. Everyone was reading it around me so I wanted to know what everyone was talking about and I started liking some bits of it but there was way too much sex and it just got a bit boring and blah. And finally the last bit that I thought I'd like but I didn't was Breathe by Sarah Crossan. It started to have a really good promise because I've been really into these sort of books in the moment, these science fiction books and I just lost interest. It got really boring and I just didn't have any interest in it whatsoever. Let's move on to books that I didn't think I'd like, but I did. The first book being Fallen by Lauren Kate. I thought it was going to be one of those really predictable paranormal romance books, but I actually ended up really liking it. Ever Night by Claudia Gray. just did not think I would like this book at all. I thought, yeah, it's going to be okay. But boy was I wrong, I ended up liking this book and I can't wait to read the second book. Believe it or not, this next book I thought I wouldn't like at all. You will be surprised. That is The Selection by Kira Cass. I know, you've seen my review for The Elite, which is my recent review, and I absolutely love the second book, as well as the first book, as well as the novella. I didn't think I liked this book at all. I thought, you know, it's going to be about princesses, it's going to be like, you know, bleh, stupid and whatever, but I ended up absolutely adoring this book, as well as the other book. Next of all is The Cross the Universe by Beth Brevis. A lot of people were talking about this book, but I didn't think I'd like it. The same with Glow by Amy Catherine Ryan. I thought, I'm not going to like this because I don't think I'm going to be into science fiction sort of books. But I gave them a chance and I actually really adored these two books. And the last one being Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. A lot of people were talking about it, but I thought it's not going to be my sort of book. But I gave it a chance when giving it for review and I absolutely liked it. Did not expect to like it as much as I did absolutely adored this book. Those are the books that I've chosen for my top 10 books that I thought I'd like but I either did or didn't and yeah why don't you let me know in the comment box down below the books that you thought you'd like or didn't like or whatever else. I hope you're having a fantastic day and enjoying the sun if you've got sun. Believe it or not it's really late here at the moment so <laughs> the daylight, daylight reading. See you soon guys. Bye!